Day two, DIY table build. Super excited. Today we are just literally, as you can see, <laughs> Philip looks just as bad as I do. We have spent the whole morning sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding the top of this table. It is buttery smooth. Philip and I tag teamed this. Philip did most of the sanding. So props to Philip and his amazing palm sanding skills this morning. We sanded all the putty. We got this completely smooth. We're ready now to wipe off any remaining dust and I'm going to actually paint the base of this. And I've decided to leave the top natural and clear coat it. So I wanna show you what I'm using for that. Because you guys are asking me in lots of our videos what I use to protect furniture that I painted or even what I use to clear coat the stairs. It's the same product, so we're gonna use it on this. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when we wipe it off. I love all of the knots on the wood, so I'm excited that we're going to leave this natural. So nice. Oh, and it's wow. so sturdy. Chase did such a good job on his build. He is proud of this table. <laughs> Who wouldn't be proud of this It's table? amazing. I love the design he chose. I need to put this a little here. I'm gonna let this top dry while I work on the bottom before I clear coat it. Make sure there's no dust. Wanna know what color I'm gonna paint the bottom? What color? White. Not white. <laughs> <laughs> Velvet Sheen, Beauty Tone Paint. Color I'm using is called Water Ski. To mix it up a little. Water then, Ski. I'm going to heavily distress it. Yes. On the legs. Pop neutral. Do not get any paint on the top. Are you sure about blue? I think so. No, turn it back now. Ha! Huh. No, I don't like it. Stop. <laughs> It's beautiful. I like that color. It shows a little darker on the screen. Yeah, but, but in person it's blue. Some people say it looks gray on our other video where we use this. The storm is coming, but I'm prepared. waiting for the bottom of my table to dry and once it's dry I'm going to clear coat that also after I do a really really light sand but I want to show you what I'm actually using to clear coat the top of my table it's called wood shield quick dry and it's a clear coat acrylic polyurethane and I use this and it is absolutely amazing I did two coats on our staircase and it's like bowling alley <laughs> clear it's amazing we haven't had any scratches at all and I'm excited to put it on this table because I know this is something that's gonna get wiped off plenty of times throughout the day. It's gotta have a really nice protection on it. I'm gonna just use a brush and put it on. And the key here is it's gonna look a little bit milky when you put it on, but once you lay it down, you don't wanna keep going over the same spot. So you wanna work from one end to the other. And it's better to do a few thin coats than it is to do a thick coat. I like to do one, wait till it dries, and then do as many as you want. Really, it's up to you. Like the natural with the blue. Yeah, it's pretty. You can see you missed a spot on the top there. Here? Yep, there. Up top, yeah, and then over a bit. Top, yeah, right there. Oh, right there. I was standing where the light wasn't reflecting. Yeah. Remember, I'm gonna do multiple coats, so. Yeah. Too that just video. brings out the color too. That looks so nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, the light makes a difference when you're painting clear. So another day of building, our table has several clear coats on it. It is fabulous. It Good. actually turned out so much better than we planned. Chase is incredibly proud of it. So thank you to everyone who left him wonderful messages. You guys rise him up and he's really thrilled to show you guys his new building skills. He wants to build more things. So stay tuned for standing with Chase as everyone's saying we should name his little series, but he's loving it. So today I want to, <laughs> three bass owls are running around playing with stuffies. I want to build a bench. And right now you guys are asking, we're tackling our gym renovation and this area at the same time. The reason we're doing that is because we're actually doing a collaboration with Home Hardware for our gym and we're really working on that over the next several days but there's a lot of drywalling and sort of boring behind the scenes prep work that needs to be done with that project. So we're also working on our kitchen at the same time. So those of you who are asking, we're jumping around while we finish these projects at the same time. But today we're going to finish the bench. So you're going to see the full transformation of this whole space in our kitchen here today during this video. So stay tuned to the very end. So right now I've already figured out that I want my bench to be a sectional so it's going to go 
and then all the way this way to this step here. I don't want it to be too deep because we don't have a very large kitchen. So I've already figured it out that I want my bench this direction to be 52 inches long. I'm going to go to approximately the starting of this tile here, back into the corner. It's going to be 18 inches high. This is going to be a standard chair height there, plus a cushion's gonna go on top. And it's going to be 16 inches deep. So it's not going to be any deeper than a regular kitchen chair. I literally just followed the dimensions of our kitchen chairs that we have already. We tucked them underneath our chair to see visually how high that would be. And then of course the addition of a topper on the bench and the cushion will rise us up just a little bit, which is kind of what we want. And then it's going to be the same on this way. So 16 inches sticking out and only going to here. So it's going to be a sectional both ways. And then the table will kind of lean into this space. And then we'll have room to put two little kitchen chairs at the front if we want to sit here and play a card game, or if all four of us want to sit together, or if the kids just want to sit and draw on either side or something, we'll have some options. And we can just bring those chairs from the kitchen, or from the dining room space. So I'm going to build the framework with two by fours. So look, we have lots of cutting to do. <laughs> but I think that's the plan anyways. And then Philip is going to help me. We're going to ship lap this upper section of the wall here, actually make a back to our bench using one by fours. We have a lot to get finished up, but I think that it's gonna really help this whole space come to life and kind of be more homey and more purposeful. I'm already getting dirty. <laughs> too bad I can't fit the same. I'm just trying to do really bad math and make it fit two on the same one, but all right. Shorten the bench. <laughs> Shorten the bench. I have lots of lumber I just like to use as little as I can to make the projects more cost effective if I can. Ooh, but I really, ooh, I could do that. Okay, yes. Figured out a way to use less lumber to do this. Thanks, Nova. No, that piece there I need to screw in. Oh, hi, Nova. <laughs> Are you uh, helping me and Mom? <laughs> the foreman's on the site. The foreman's on the job. I don't mean to always film you when you're left-handed. I think you do it on purpose. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna film you left-handed on the other side. <laughs> this box is looking amazing. Looking good. It's not a sectional yet. <laughs> we'll get there. One in the middle, two in the ends, right? Maybe you should push it away from the wall and stand where the corner is. All I'm getting is your butt. Is really made with love, isn't it? You're doing one side, I'm oh. doing the other side. Chase built the table. Chase built the table. Dave's ready to paint. Dave's <laughs> helping paint him. Pups are stealing all the sand pads. <laughs> there was a knot. It did not want to go in. <laughs> Sectional time. So this is going to go in the corner. Ooh. Super sturdy. This part is now going to get built coming out this way. You. Oh, like that, sorry. Just like that. <laughs> Just <laughs> All right, let's see it. Alicia and I are trying to figure out how wide we're gonna make this L shape come out. We kind of want to make it like a little sectional. But not take up too much square footage of the kitchen, right? So we're gonna put it together, but not fasten it completely together. And then we're gonna put the table in and kind of see how much room we actually have in the kitchen to move around. Okay, so I just set the table here where it's going to go. And I think with the L-shaped bench, it's going to be so cute. I can't wait to get this face so that we can do it. And then what we've done is we've just pushed the table back as if we weren't using it. But if we're actually there, we can pull it out a little more and we still have so much room to come in this doorway. Pretty excited actually about how this is gonna look. So 
All right, we're gonna face this off now. And then I'm gonna add some trim and shiplap. We got lots to do, I'm so excited. It's coming to life. I did just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Don't start it so close. Start it there, start it there. there. That makes sense. 16 yeah. on center. Yeah. Another one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not to the end. Okay, perfect. At least we have three. And then I can talk about this. Next home hardware trip, new red robin. I forgot one when I went to get Chase's palm sander. I had it in my head of a list and I forgot to take the list. When you write lists and don't take them with you. It's like when you go to the store to get your bread and butter and you come home with milk and no bread and no butter. I did that the other day. I didn't bring butter home and I got it this morning instead. That is not That's going, not going, going anywhere now. Okay, and then I'm going to put one here. The three Bassets might attempt, but it's I'm not I'm thinking going they're going to try to hop down from there. It might be a circus. I'm loving this because when I have the lid on and I take the cushion off, I can store like some canning stuff or something in here that I wouldn't always get to all the time. Or I was going to say my crock pot, but I've been using it so much lately. But it's just a nice spot to throw a few things or maybe like extra tablecloths or something. Opened up, yeah, opened up some storage that we never had before. that's going to go where kind of my pillows are gonna lean up to. I just wanna give this a little bit of detail and then we're gonna do shiplap along the top. So I'm just using one by fours to do this and they're the same pine like we used to build our tabletop. So I'm basically just using a bunch more scrap. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow, but who knows? Who knows if we get joy or sorrow? Ooh. So that's going to be the back part. The, the Before bottom, the, the top. top. Okay. Yeah. Right? Right? And then yes. This will go yep. there. So that's there. as high as it's going to be. Too high or too low? I don't know. I think that looks amazing. Okay. Because remember, the pillows are going to be like 12 inches by 12 inches. Yeah, it'll give it that comfy look. I like it. <laughs> like, why do I have this? My lines don't be that cool, but it's probably a lie. <laughs> mm. Wow, oh, it's perfect. Pardon me? No, oh, perfect. Is purple perfect? No, <laughs> perfect. Can't wait to sit. I mean, I'm sitting right now, but I can't. Still got work to do. <laughs> Love it. Can't wait to build the cushion. Shiplap wall now? Shiplap wall. I think if we start the shiplap from the ledge up here. Yeah. And level it all the way up, and then we can fill in this spot here with the strips once we have cut ends, because otherwise we're just cutting a whole bunch of little ones at first. Yeah. And go up above the doorway and finish off that wall. I have to say, YouTube family, this little dinette area was Philip's idea. I just designed it. He was like, I need to be able to sit in the kitchen while you're in here. And the kids want to be able to sit in the kitchen when you're doing stuff work. I want you to sit in here while I'm cooking something. And so I was like, Okay, fine. I'll, I'll design something up. Good job, Philip. It's looking so good. Thanks, hon. Don't good job me. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to show the finished product. Part of Philip and I's partnership is that we do everything 50-50. And so, although I always have lots of ideas, <laughs> we try to implement as many ideas as Philip comes up with too. But this one, I think, is gonna be like one of my new favorite areas of the house. The staircase is beyond gorgeous, and this is just really turning out so nice. Ready? Yeah. So we're using flooring underlayment. This is just a mahogany underlayment and you get a four by eight sheet for under $20. So we can do this whole wall for under 20 bucks, which is pretty awesome. And I think we're at about $50 for our project in lumber to build our bench, everything I needed for foam. And we're under $50 for the table bill. So we're doing this whole entire project on our super small budget, which I think is pretty awesome. Fire these on. We 
ordered a really cool art print for above here. And I'm really excited. I don't know how many days it's gonna take, but we're not being out shopping right now. And so ordering online, sometimes you never know how long things are gonna take, but I'm so excited. It's gonna fill like most of covering this. So fun. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. It looks so much better with the gap. I like that we're streamlining it, especially because the big art print's gonna go on there. Yeah. This is gonna go from like here to here to there. I'm gonna cover that wall. I can't wait. I can't wait to get some fresh paint on there. Put Great. it on. Yeah. I'm gonna be painting the ceiling, but I don't wanna make a mess first. Oh yeah, cause the whole kitchen's getting painted. Yeah, so. cause that's crisp white. <laughs> yeah, you can tell the difference between the old and the new. I'm having breakfast here tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bed till I'm done this. Was it Last night I went to bed and I was like, everyone's asleep. I could just get up and go work on the bench, but I promised I would wait for you, but I couldn't sleep because I was excited to start the bench, but it was so late. Couldn't use power tools that late anyways. Oh yeah, there's such a stark difference. Between, between... the ceiling color and, yeah. yeah. This is Beauty Tone High High White that I'm using. Yeah, and it is a fresh white right from the can. We've used a bunch of different whites, and you always find a little bit of tinge to the white. If it I yellows, yellow, yeah. yeah, it mostly yellows. But this white is absolutely gorgeous. All of the spaces that get any little bit of paint in them, I'll run the blade at the end. Yes. Okay, push it. Have a Hello. Can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know turned out amazing. And I love the memories that we made while building this project with the boys. They had so much fun helping to build the table, helping us with painting and getting the bench and everything made. Philip and I stayed up all night to get this finished because we're working on two projects right now. So we really wanted to get this finished while we work on waiting for things to dry in the gym. I know that you guys are waiting for a tour of the upstairs. Don't worry. We haven't forgot about it. Everything is finished, but we want to do a whole home tour for you guys coming up over the next couple of weeks. We have a few really big projects coming up and then we're gonna do a tour of the whole house and show you all the projects from start to finish. It's gonna be pretty spectacular and I know that you guys have been asking all year for an actual home tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love having you part of our journey. If you haven't already seen, we've started posting our videos for our actual gym renovation in the basement. It's gonna be an epic transformation. So hit subscribe, follow along, and we will see you on the next episode. I love you. Oh, so do the pups. <laughs> they beat me to it. <laughs>